For this project, mo merry-go-round motion detector, I'm going to put this platform called the merry-go-round on the motor and then I'm going to put one of these cardboard cutouts. You don't have to, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to, let's say, maybe place the horse on the platform and just slide it on. And then I'm going to turn on the slide switch and watch what happens. Whenever the circuit detects motion, the merry-go-round will spin and look at the horse it's spinning backwards that's incredible hopefully it's having a fun time project 21 is mini car i mounted the gear shaft motor in the frame of the car and put a medium sized green gear so that it aligns with the smaller green gear on the right rear wheel of the car. I use rubber rings to keep the medium sized gear in place and then I attach the jumper wires to the motor and to this circuit. Now the slide switch is on. When I move the switcher toward me, the car moves forward. When I move it away from me, the car moves backwards. The gear shaft motor is allowing the car to move. Gears transfer energy to each other in order to move machinery including this motor and the axles which have contain wheels that make the car go forward or backwards. Gears are very important on many mechanical equipment. They allow efficient operation. Just be careful that you don't overextend the wires and if you're operating this car on a table don't let it fall off but you can move the grid so that the car can continue moving forward without overextending the wires. I modified the control circuit and added the bicolor LED. Now look what happens when I make the car go forward. The control light comes on and the bicolor LED comes on and it is yellow. However, when I make it move backwards, the control light is red. So the control light is yellow to indicate that the car is moving forward and when it is red it means that the car is moving backwards. I find that very interesting. It makes me think of a remote control car in which it's possible maybe, I don't remember using one myself, but some models might have lights that change color according to the the direction that the vehicle is moving. I added a second battery holder to the circuit and now when I let the car go forward or backwards it is much faster now. It is more difficult to control however because it is moving faster. Naturally, when a vehicle is moving faster, it is much more difficult to control. Now here is a mini car that has controls on the car itself instead of on an attached circuit. When I move the switcher to the left position, the car will go forward. And when I move it to the right position, it will go backwards just like a toy car that might have controls on it and because it does not move very fast you can easily pick the car up and turn it off or change its direction. This car works best on a hard surface like a hardwood floor and make sure that the jumper wires do not get caught in the gears or wheels because it would interfere with the performance of the vehicle or cause damage. But I think it's very interesting how these types of 
cars work. Sorry about the battery holder, but it like mounts onto the front of the vehicle just like that. I have attached the color LED between the ends of the jumper wires on the battery holder and then when I put the second battery in, the color LED will come on and flash and it operates independently of the motor which is controlled by the switcher. So whether the car is on or off, the color LED will be on until you either disconnect it or remove the batteries, which you should do because you don't want to drain them since the color LED will stay on otherwise. I'm going to turn on the slide switch and then move the switcher and when the car goes forward or backward, the bicolor LED will light up. When it is going forward, the LED is yellow, but when it's going backward, the LED is red. You can see that the vibration switch is included, and when it detects movement, it will allow the bicolor LED to light up, and it will be either red or yellow, depending on the direction at which the car is moving. Project 27, It's a Plane, is very neat. I built the model plane from the plastic pieces that were included in this kit. And then I attached the light motor to the front. And you'll see that that will act like a propeller on the plane. The motor will act like the engine. And when I turn on the slide switch the motor spins and lights up. That's a very colorful propeller there. And it creates a good light show as well. Now unfortunately the plane cannot fly but it may vibrate depending on the surface it is on and how fast the light motor is spinning. And the motor can only spin in one direction at a time unless you have the switcher but this is just a basic circuit controlling it so it's just going to spin I think in a clockwise direction and the LEDs in the motor light up. I removed one of the battery holders in the circuit attached to the airplane and now when I turn on the slide switch the motor spins and lights up but you can see that the LEDs are much dimmer and there is not enough power for the blue LED to come on either. There's only half the amount of energy as there was in the previous project. You can see that I replaced the light motor with the geared motor and I placed the 2.55 inch gear on and then when I turn on the slide switch the motor will spin and you can see that the gear rotates as well and this is to simulate an idling airplane it's as if the airplane is getting ready to take off but is not at full power yet 